Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So in today's Kaden Live tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to do both slow motion and fast motion and in a real easy and simple way. Now, this is a very basic way to do this. There are more advanced ways, but I'm gonna show you how you could quickly do this within Kaden Live. Now, the first thing you have to do is choose a clip and you would bring it into your track. And as you can see here, everything is playing in normal speed. So all you would do is right click on your mouse and then change speed. Now this is in percentages, and so I'm gonna do this at 50%. And what you notice is that it actually extend or stretch out the number of frames. Now this is very important because if you have a video that is say 24 frames, your slow motion or fast motion isn't gonna look as good because you have less frames to work with. So what I recommend is to do 60 frames or higher. So I have 60 frames right here. And so now let's go ahead and look at this again. And that is definitely a lot slower and it just looks so cool. Now you can make this even slower by changing the speed again. So let's go ahead and make this 20%. And once again, it'll actually stretch out the frames. And now it is even slower. So that's really easy. So there's other things you could do with this as well. Let's go ahead and change this back to 50%. You could actually reverse the motion. Just choose this reverse clip and now let's watch it again. And that is so cool because now everything's going back in the opposite direction. You can have a lot of fun with just this effect alone. So now let's go ahead and change it to where it is actually faster. So I'm gonna uncheck this reverse clip and now instead of at 50%, I'm gonna say 200%. So now it's gonna shorten it, but it's gonna go way faster. See that? Yes. We are moving forward in time. So now let's go ahead and try some other things with this. I'm gonna change this back to 100%. And I'm gonna kind of put all these different effects together. So say for example, you wanna play the clip at the beginning at normal speed, but then at a certain point you wanna stop it and go real slow and then go back to normal speed and then go back to fast speed. So there are many ways to do this, but I'm gonna show you the real quick and easy way. And you would just simply use the slice or cut tool and you do that that's where i want to start the slow motion and then i want to go ahead and uh, bring it back to the regular speed and then afterwards i actually want to splice it one more time to do fast motion but let's go ahead and start with this first one now the thing is whenever you are slowing things down it is going to extend the amount of frames so what you want to do is move this to a different track for now then go to this clip right click and do like you did before I'm gonna change this to 50%. So it is stretched that out. And then I'm gonna bring this clip back in at the normal speed. But then at about this point, I wanna go ahead and speed things up. So I'll do another cut right there. Choose this clip and then change speed to 200%. Okay. So this should all work. So let's go ahead and expand this and we'll watch it. And that's normal motion right here. So everything looks normal. And then you can see it's slowed down. And once that part is done, it'll go back to its normal motion. So should be right there. There, there's normal motion right here. And then finally, it'll go into the fast motion right there. For serious YouTubers, check out TubeBuddy, the premier tool news at geekoutdoors.com. Get more done today by checking out the affiliate link in the description area below. So as you can see here with this very basic slow motion and fast motion, there are a lot of creative things they could do with almost any video, even if it's just something as basic as running water, it just looks a lot cooler when it's in slow motion, when it's going backwards or when it's sped up. So if you actually had any thoughts on this, if you had any other techniques, uh, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see my entire Caden Live tutorial series, I will also leave that playlist in the description area as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. 
And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.